Who's got the number one talk show in Vegas? We Who's gonna leave it all there in the set tonight? We Who's gonna have a lot of fun doing it? We We're probably usually the Philippines on three. One, two, three. Tonight, live from the Inspire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring your host, Dylan Jorgensen, Leah Bowser, Bunny Gore, Alan Goya, Jason Outlaw, Tonight's guest, from Neon Brand Search Engine Optimization, Kenny Ellison. Master Hypnotherapist, Deborah Aiken. Magical Performance by Justin Flong. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Kanye West Financial Advisor, Mr. Jason Allen. Alfonso, let's hear it for him, huh? Yes. Yes, indeed. How you doing, Lenny? Feeling magical. Feeling magical. It's, it's a great night. It's a great night. We've got all kinds of awesome people in the audience. We've got Macklemore over here. Give it up for Macklemore. That's right. Yes. He's going to pop some tags. It's all right, man. It's all right. It's good stuff. Go Macklemore. It's all right. Awesome. Bill Clinton was downtown tonight, earlier today. Do you guys see that? Yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, Leah, who, uh, who's one of, our, one of our, uh, our, our hosts here, Leah, he actually told Leah that, um, that if, if she wanted uh, tuition, that uh, he, he should vote for Hillary. That's what he said, yeah. I think it's because I th- I Bill Clinton really just wants to get back in the White House, you know? <laughs> He's like, you know, I just want to get back in the White House. <laughs> oh, hey. Those girls are so, so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, Jason, that's almost, that's almost as good as your Trump. I it's almost so. as good as my Trump, yes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the impersonations that go on got, in this you place. You got it going on there. I, just, I can't imagine we give that away for free. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, this is what's in the news. There are rumors flying around about a possible new iPhone. That's right. It'll be called the iPhone 5SE, okay? Yes, it's a smaller iPhone. It will measure four inches. Unless you ask a man, they'll say it's 10 inches. (laughs) Sure. It's always bigger, guys. It's always bigger. Um, a man skipped work for six years and no one noticed. That's right. <laughs> when asked about it, the man said, six years is not that bad. There are people that are getting paid and not working for years. They're called Congress. Oh! Yes. It's true. It happens. It happens. Congress, I don't know. <clears throat> Uh, oh, this is, this is one of my favorite stories. A man in Utah was struck by, by lightning while masturbating to the Bible. Yes. Yes. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, what verse was it, right? <laughs> so I'm going to tell you. It was actually a verse in Ezekiel. Uh, it was verse 20 where it reads as follows. There she lusted after her lovers whose genitals were like those of donkeys whose emissions were that of horses. So basically, this guy was into donkey shows. That's it. That's it. Caught the Holy Spirit. Yeah, just as long as he's not throwing donkey punches. Bring it around, right? Is that, is that, is that how we do it? You got to bring it around. I don't know. I don't know. Um, the owner of the D, the owner of the D right up the street here, uh, has offered Kanye West the deal of a lifetime. That's right. He says Kanye West can keep all the ticket sales if he performs right here downtown. That's right. You know, I do think it's interesting that the offer comes from the D, which is the first letter of the word that people use to describe (laughs) Kanye West. It's true. Distinguish. That guy got it right. Good job. Way to go, buddy. (laughs) Distinguish. That's that's my first word, I think. Kanye distinguish. Kanye distinguish. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Obama, President Obama, um, has announced a black lesbian judicial nominee. That's right. 
Um, he was actually one minority away from the trifecta. If she would have been Muslim, the Republicans everywhere would have had a stroke. <laughs> just, uh, heads would have exploded. Just, boom. <laughs> stroke out. <laughs> It would have been like, I smell bread, <laughs> fall over. Um, there's, <laughs> you got it. OK, cool. Um, <laughs> there's a group. There's a group that is helping the race for president. That's right. They're called Hookers for Hillary. You guys hear about these people? Yes, Hookers for Hillary. The main reason they are behind Hillary Clinton is because they feel that if Hillary loses, her life will spiral out of control, and she will end up working there. <laughs> It could happen. It could happen. Uh, she's like, if I lose one more time, that's the way it goes. In Florida, an 18-year-old man was arrested for posing as a doctor. That's right. The 18-year-old uh, man, his name is Love Robinson. That's right. That's his name. Uh, he was arrested after a sting agent got medical advice from him in his office, which most likely doubles as a porno set. <laughs> Love Robinson. Love, Ro Love Robinson, you just think he's going to have sex with you. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, Kentucky lawmakers uh, have, have enacted a bill that forces men to get a note from their wives before purchasing Viagra. Yes. Yes. But all the men in Kentucky want to know, what if the wife is his sister? Does that count? Does that count? That's, that it's, no? No? Is that, did I get to offer that? Is it that time of night already? <laughs> I'm make fun of having sex with sisters. OK, cool. Um, <laughs> there's a new invention, a new invention. It's a guitar pee urinal. That's right. It lets you play a guitar solo as you pee. That's right. See, that's what R. Kelly was doing. He was just trying to play a solo. That's all. Too soon? Is that too soon? <laughs> says, the lady he, says the lady he peed on. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. <laughs> I believe I can fly, yes. Um, a nursing student. A nursing student is suing her college. That's right, because her classmates speak Spanish. That's right. Her classmates are actually countersuing her for being a bitch. That's right, that's right. Uh, Bill Maher, everyone knows Bill Maher? He was just fined $1.7 million for smoking a joint on television. No. That's right, that's right. They said the fine would have been bigger, but no one watches his show. It's true, it's true. You always, I never, you always see it later, it's a clip. Um, <laughs> I like Bill. Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, does not want to give backdoor access to the government for the iPhone. That's right. The government has been giving it to us citizens uh, in the back door for years. That's right. So now they just want to do it to the iPhone. That's it. Give it to the back doors. Give it up for DJ Lenny Alfonso. Let's hear it for him. I thought I was in the California. Well, look, amazing. You guys are amazing. Hey, you are here very first. Very special event. The Downtown Podcast has invented a time machine. Oh. Hey. Hey, it, it's a prototype. It's just a prototype. And it's just like third class, you know. But uh, <laughs> we hope it will work. I have an amazing guest for you today. His name is Kenny Alazan. And he, he's the uh, founder of... Um, what is the founder of? <laughs> Rainbow Brand, I mean, uh... K Kenny Ellison? Kenny Ellison is the founder of uh, Neon Brand? Neon Brand, Neon Brand, okay. My brain is like transporting to the future of it. Here. Neon Brand, everybody know Kenny? Everybody know Ken uh, Kenny's friends over here? Okay, anyway, so we hope, we have sent Kenny into the future, five years into the future at, uh, of downtown. But first, we sent our cast out into the future I mean, out last week, we sent them to the past to Valentine's Day, seven days ago on, on, uh, on Sunday, okay? So we're going to watch this thing. The near Live, we got the cat back, and they were really happy that I got him back. We need your help. So Kenny is such a good sport that he was willing to test our time machine. So we, tent we sent Kenny into the future five years, and hopefully we can bring him back. 
<laughs> Hopefully. Okay, but I need your help. Um, anybody know Kenny? Any, any friends of Kenny yeah. here? Yeah, okay, hey, 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 hey. Okay, I'm gonna need your help, okay? Okay, ready? Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. I got my remote control here, ready? Uh, let me try another remote. Uh, let me try another remote here. I'm gonna get my widget second tough class ride, now. It's a tough ride. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh man, that was I quite the hear, trip. I want to hear about the future. I'm so excited. Now, I have this whole list of questions here. Oh man. man. And it's so excited. I'm, 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 I'm oh. just really, you know, the, now the, it's really important now. Now, the first question I have for you yeah. is five years in the future, yeah. who is Dylan Jorgensen dating? Ooh, well, I didn't quite get that information. It was a little hazy. <laughs> what about what about for Joey? Okay, how is how is MySpace doing? Oh, MySpace, you know, it's still MySpace. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we got three followers now. At least? Yeah, I think. Okay. Well, 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 what did you see, Kenny? What did you see? Oh man, let's let me take you down a walk down Fremont Street because this place is happening, man. Five years from now, the whole strip or the whole Fremont Street is lit up. The Fremont East, you start with the Inspire Theater, still rocking and rolling right here. The bar is still going hot. The music, the DJs, it's, it's a great place. Start here. You move down. Park on Fremont, still doing great. Flipping Good Burger, still doing great. Inspire Coins, still empty. <laughs> then you got some of the other bars that are still doing great. El Cortez is now El Cort New. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know why they did that. Well, how about the Raiders? Are they in the Super Bowl? I think they're. Actually, uh, I, I heard they were a Vegas team. They moved to Vegas. Vegas. Yeah, they moved to Vegas. The thing, There's the thing, a stadium right? built. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 What about Zappos? What are they doing now? Are they like selling groceries yet or anything? I think Zappos ended up pioneering. Oh, no, they did. I saw it. They ended up pioneering uh, drone delivery of groceries to your house. It's oh, crazy. Very cool. Yeah, very crazy. cool. Yeah. Dylan will like that. He can just kind of walk around. Okay. What about Slotzilla? Ever pay? <laughs> no, that thing is still like upside down. Three oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> well, tell us about your company. What is your company doing now? Oh, man. So in five years from now, what we're doing in five years is uh, we're actually touring the world. We're doing a bunch of different speaking engagements. That's kind of our biggest push. Telling people how to do digital marketing. Um, teaching them all about Facebook. Actually, in the future, Facebook is connected to everything. I don't know if you remember, in our current time, Mark Zuckerberg's starting to get into home technology and smart house stuff. Man, he has integrated that fully into Facebook, and we are like completely connected. You go to the doctor, you sign in on Facebook. I mean, everything's on Facebook coming in five years. Uh, well, I know, we hate it, but it's, it's part of our lives. We okay. can't escape. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. Isn't it weird for a time machine? Yeah. Oh. Well, let's just go back. But Kenny, thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, come back next time. We're going to go see <laughs> President, President Trump's new golf course in Syria. <laughs> <laughs>
you, you know, therapeutic hypnotherapy, is that what it's called? <laughs> but there is somebody here who does need help, and his name is Joey, he's our intern. Joey, do you want to come out here? Yeah. And, well, other things. He has a lot of vices, but apparently he has trouble sleeping as well. So what do you have trouble is with besides true, dating? <laughs> sleeping. Sleeping? Yeah. And dating, but sleeping. <laughs> okay. Me too. Okay. So, Joey, I'm going to ask you a few questions. At this time, there's no verbal communication between you and I. The only person that's speaking will be me. Do you understand that? Okay, very good. Okay, so you'll just look towards me, Joey. And I'm going to ask you, when you were a child, did you, did, were you ever told that you walked in your sleep? In a large group of people, such as this audience here, if there were a person that just felt comfortable speaking to you or a large group of people, would you feel comfortable speaking back to them? And I'd like to know do you, if you see the image of your hands in your head, just nod your head yes for me. Okay, once you see the images, then you just nod your head yes. Just wait. Okay. And at this time, you'll be suggestible to my voice and my voice only. You may hear some coughing. You may hear laughing. You may hear whispers. You may hear stomping. You may hear music playing. You may hear a telephone ring. And each and every time that you hear these sounds, it'll just take you deeper and deeper into a relaxed state of hypnosis. And now I'm going to count from five to one. And on one, you'll just go deeper into a state of hypnosis. And on five, four, three, two, one, and deep sleep. And each and every time I suggest deep sleep, with your permission, you'll go deeper and deeper into a state of hypnosis. And you may feel the eyes becoming a little tighter and tighter. You may feel the urge to want to open them. But the harder you try, the harder it becomes. But you could go ahead and try and open your eyes. Okay. And just close them back. And then I'm going to go from the top of your head down to your feet. And this is just an exercise to massage and relax your body. And I want you to just grab the stair hole, the rail on the side of the stair hole. And when you have your hand on the hair, hand rail, I'd like you to nod your head yes for me. And I want you to get ready to take a step down. It's 10 steps, remember, Joey. So going down step nine. And you feel this confidence feeling greater than ever before. Knowing that you're a ladies' man and you've been hiding it all this time. And on eight, the confidence builds more as you see the ladies at the bottom. And a few of them are going, Joey, Joey. And on seven, taking this confidence deep. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, wide awake, wide awake. And I'm going to put, put my fingers up and just tell me, how many fingers do I have up? Two. Three. Okay. Two. One. Okay. Very good. Joey. Did you? That's awesome. That, thank you very much for You're taking quite Joey welcome. there in front of all of us. That was, <laughs> that was something. How do you I feel, can, Joey? Tired. <laughs> he feels tired. He said, I can tell you right now. I am not mature enough to go through that, so I appreciate that. I'm not. But Joey, you did it, so we're going to find out. We'll follow up and find out if Joey got a good night's sleep and a lady uh, next week. And I'll give you my website. Yes, so please tell us, where can people find you and you, know, you can help them realize their dreams or help them through any other situation through hypnosis? 
Okay, well, the Dream Action Academy, again, is a, a, my company. Is, I partner with different organizations. And it's not just to help teens, but right now that's what I'm doing here in Las Vegas. Right. I'm helping some teens. So if anyone is interested in me partnering with them and coming up with any a course. Any corporation. Any right. corporation. And coming up with the courts for your corporation just Perfect. to move it forward yeah. in the, the way you desire. What you handle can, reach can me. they find you at? www d e dash b o r a h that's www d e dash b o r a h or you can look me up under the dream action academy and my number is 702 601 2468 that's awesome. 702 601 2468 well we appreciate it thank, thank you thank you for having me thank you awesome. and thank you joey <laughs>
Good to see you. You got, what do you got? You got an iPhone too, don't you? Yeah, all right, here, we're gonna upgrade. You hold on to that, but you're gonna keep me honest in a second, okay? Uh, Mike, I want you to pass your phone to that gentleman. That gentleman's going to uh, see if he can pass the phone to me. We're gonna keep this good and casual. Oh, that's good, that's good. Excellent, Un unlock it. I'm not a freaking mind reader, come on. Just a magician. That's good, that was for you. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna make one of you laugh at a time. That's how the show works. Eventually, we'll have the whole, no, 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 that's good, that's good. All right, Mike's phone, Mike's phone that we're gonna start going through in front of all these people. Uh, it, it's weird, right? Somebody taking your phone and starting going through your history. Now, uh, Mike, here's what I want you to do. Uh, here, I'm gonna toss that to Mike. Good catch, excellent. It's our juggler, he's on next. Mike, take a hold of the pen. I'm gonna Google somebody. I'm not gonna let you see it, but I want you to make sure that, yeah, check this out. Check Google, okay. This is good. I'm gonna set this against my, uh, my crystal ball thing there. It's not mine. Mike, write down a celebrity right now. I can't see you, there's no cameras behind you, any of that, you keep me honest. I'm gonna be right here. You can see I'm not looking. Mike, I want you to, uh, to write down that celebrity. I want you to show everybody in the room, see if there's a camera that can get to it so the camera can see what is up. Everybody make some noise once it's done. Mike, you got it done? Mike, you got it done? He didn't see, he didn't see. Show it to the camera, this is a television show. Got it? Now here's the crazy thing, okay? Here's the crazy thing. You're gonna react crazy when you see this. Come over here, come over here, get his face because he's gonna be the first one to see this. Gene Simmons, baby. Big Mike right there, big round of applause. Thank you so much for your help. That's a little bit of mind reading. I'm not gonna throw you this back. Someone's gonna hand it to him. That's Mike. Thank you guys so much. I'm Justin Flom. Just a little bit of magic.